All right, let's go Zoroark. Yeah, changing the stuff. Hello, welcome to another video. Uh, Zoroark, this is always an interesting one. Phantom Transformation. Another fun expanded deck. Really like this list. So it can come any like stage one, so you can have like one of, as you can see here, Kermobolo if you need a situation for that. You saw the Atari if you need a situation for that. It works for just little tech situations for some weakness and stuff. And this one here, you know, in addition to the Vaporeon, it's pretty fun to give you a water type weakness. You got Fleer in here for its Vengeance attack, which is pretty similar to another main attacker that we will be having in the deck. And then, of course, Jolteon for Electric Weakness. So you can hit, like, some weaknesses if you want to. It's pretty fun. And, of course, everything like that, which is nice. Sora can be pretty fun here. And Vespaquin. For the B Revenge, just like uh, our buddy Flareon. So these Pokemon, just for the low energy cost of the double colorless, basically. And you get to attack and do a lot of damage for Pokemon you want in the discard. So you want to discard a lot of stuff, etc. You want them in there not only for the attack, but also then, you know, you can transform into whoever you want. And you have all your draw support, including the Farewell Letter Unknown. And one of the best ones, Propagation Execute. And, of course, you want to protect your bench with a bench bearer by a cute little meal. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> and, yeah, there's Zora. But where's Zora? If you guys were asking, you know, there's Zora right there. Become the Zorork. And uh, let's take a look what we have for some help here. We have Battle Compressor, you know, speeds through the deck, discards whatever you want so you can start going our right way. Ultra Balling. Of course, Computer Searching. So you have all of a sudden the discard with your eggs, discard Pokemon you want in the discard pile, Professor Juniper, everything involves draw, thinning, whatever you need to get stuff in the discard for more damage and for more transformations with Zodark. Need something back? Use a Rescue Stretcher. Use a Rescue Carrier. Some nice additions to the deck as well. Fuel Blower, of course. Get the great stuff in with this. Special charge, so we don't have to worry about the fact that we're only playing four double colorless. They go bye bye. We can get them back. <laughs> so in a sense, you're playing eight, which is not bad at all. Do some more damage, muscle band, which does mean a difference. Sometimes you you might see that it does make a difference. And of course, you have and for your dis you know disruption draw support. You have Guzmas, teammates, really good card. I mean, all the Pokemon here are gonna get pretty much knocked out. Pretty much, since they're very low HP. But they're all one prizers, which makes the deck even more balanced and fun. Ha! <laughs> so I'm really liking it. And yeah, just do all this right here. And attack with the Zoroark transforming. And there's plenty of draw support, plenty of everything, plenty of help. I think it works really well. Uh, let's try it out, shall we? I mean, look at Cubic Horn. <laughs> like the evolutions, pretty fun to try here, and uh, especially being able to attack with them uh, with our Vesequin and such. But Zorark shall transform into many things. Many things. I like it. It's fun. Let's have a couple of uh, fun matches, shall we? Let's have some fun here. We'll try a match out. We shall try and battle with our Zorok. Zorok. We shall battle with the Zorok. Zorok. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, hey. Zorok. Phantom transformation. How y'all doing, buddy? How was your Thanksgiving and such? It's the holiday season. So a hoop a dee doo and dickery dock. Yes, yes, yes. The mouse ran up the clock. Anyway. <clears throat> Ooh, Reggie Drago. I like that deck. Haven't played it since I built it. Because it just seems like they're just when you find time, it's always playing a new deck, playing a new deck, playing a new deck. And these ones really just sit back one time, just play some of these friends because I really enjoyed that deck. So interesting to see this in the uh, expanded format, <clears throat> right? So what fun additions can this deck? Play and expand it. I guess, obviously, the Double Dragon energy. Which, I'm going, nice. Basically. Uh, 
Um, let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. <laughs> and let's just dump some more in there. All right. Let's get... Who do we want? Who do we want? Hmm. Yeah, might as well. <clears throat> and yeah, let's just start dumping everything. Let's draw a card. Farewell letter. Interesting. Now let's get our eggs back. Yes, this is a long process. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it is what it's going to have to be. <laughs> be, because we have, you know, Combi and Vespa Quinn. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Such a fun deck. <clears throat> I say we should probably finally do that. Or get some we want to uh, disaccord. Because we can do a lot. Ask me, but we really should start with our Zorbas. Get as many Zorbas as we can. This card is so amazing. <laughs> it's like it takes a while to constantly do this over and over and over, but I do like that. It's like your discarding problems are nothing thanks to that card. Any card I want. <clears throat> hmm. Yep, let's do that. <laughs> there we go, we got another one. Oh, jeez. Already down half of our deck. Get rid of you, get rid of you. And we don't need you anymore. Until the Vespa Quens are discarded. And uh, we're just going to sit back. The opponent's probably like, oh yeah. Those eggs. Those eggs. <laughs> Execute. Execute. <clears throat> And I honestly don't see why not. There we have all our Zoras. Ready to go. Hmm. Hmm. If only I had two of the unknown letters in there. But, um, tempted to. Uh, I'll just wait. Sadly, one Zora down. Tap, tap, tap. Most likely. Then we get the same thing to do all their stuff with their Sinchino. Hey, we have our little Minchino and a uh, uh, Professor Junipal card. Oh. The Sinchinos, you just can't get away from them. Oh. Oh, Professor Research as well. Crobat V Max? Do what? Oh, wow, we looked out on that too. I am confused. Very much. Hey, good, we did. <laughs> just what I... I should have just waited. See what happens when you wait? You get what you wanted. So now I can do that twice. I mean, oh boy, oh boy. We get two of those to draw again. Just draw some more. I don't see why not. Hey, here we go. We got ourselves another Zork. <clears throat> we got, we're going to have ours saved. I'm surprised that, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Who are we gonna turn into? Flareon or the bee? Flareon looks like a do a little more damage, don't you think? Sha la 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 la. We're gonna go transform into Flareon. Oh yeah. Get ourselves another Zora. Now let's see what we got. Yeah, really, a really, really big shoe here, a really big shoe. Get ourselves some more cards. Oh my gosh, we're just driving like, driving, drawing like crazy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Inspector Gadget. Ding, 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 Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Two hundred. So one eighty ain't bad. We don't have to do much against this deck, so we're like set. So we really don't need. But we'll see. Hey, they finally got it. <laughs> Shame then again last turn. Now we're doing we're doing very well here because we did the first. So we go down to five. They go on to five. We go to four. They go to four. Three. Them three. Two. Them two. Us one. Them one. Us zero before this, as long as we consistently can attack every turn, then we should be good. Or if by some weird miracle, which is possible in this deck too, is you get rid of all their uh, attackers, dragons, because the problem with their dragon attackers is he does a lot of damage, but you're kind of hoping to get, you got to knock out six of our Pokemon with this guy, and but we can also really hit back. Even if, I mean, in any deck, if this deck doesn't take, this deck isn't really good at getting six Pokemon to knock out for six prizes. You need to have that huge damage it does to take some two prizes, some three prizes. And that's like one of the downsides with the deck. Like, it sucks. So when you go with this deck, you need to, like, be, like, taking the first attack while they're whiffing, they're doing this, and hopefully get ahead in the prize game and then reshuffle your Pokemon to keep using them. You know, get them back in with old rods, etc. Because, like, they need to take six prizes. We need to take six prizes, but... I mean, we have the Zororks. I mean, we could have had the uh, Combies. We can get the Combies back, honestly. You know, and stuff like that, so it's got to rely right on that. So whoever gets rid of all their attackers first is what's kind of, kind of, well, suck. Like right there, that'd be perfect. We'll get our energy back. We need to get, get rid of that. So it's going to be harder for them to get energy on. So they're going to have to get the... Dragon energy onto that other one. That other one will get knocked out. <clears throat> and then relying on the. Like, I don't know if I would still play. The Cherim line when we have double dragon energy. I would do the special thing to shuffle it back in, I guess. Or at least, I don't know. Maybe not worry about playing the fire. I mean, I guess if you're stuck and you don't get what you need. Then I would maybe keep the chair because that'll become, you know, this and this and you'll be fine. But I feel like that's a lot of, like, when you have double dragon energy, I don't see the point of the chairs. I mean, you could welder onto it, attach the double dragon energy, and you're good to go. Then you have more bench space for another attacker, a backup attacker. If the deck see like they're not going to get anywhere with this, I don't know why they even bother to do it unless they don't think that's going to go down because that is a waste. Unless they can get our energy on it with the Cherim, but their Pokemon had Fire Energy and the Double Dragon, and now they got to get Grass. And as of now, I'm not putting down that Crobat to give them two prizes. 
And I've already drawn through enough. We have enough in this card to do damage. No, my muscle band, which really doesn't matter. That was a good tails. I mean, we could have hopefully drawn into it, shuffle it. We would have shuffled it in and hopefully had a chance to draw into it later. And, uh, oh. No, even better. You know, we got our we top deck into Zoroark. So this is pretty nice, I would say. I don't know why I'm thinking something else here. I'm thinking. I'm like, I have enough. But I don't have the energy. So we're going to have to goose out the other one. Sacrifice the other one. Like, I had no choice. I mean, they'll be, if they get energy, they'll be able to put it on there and take one out, but then we'll take it out, hopefully, in the next turn. You can see, like, right now, again, go Flareon, go Flareon, go! You go Flareon. And they don't have anything in there for energy... Which is the other grass that they need. Like, I get it because, like, this would be, like... I guess this is good and bad. For the, uh... You okay? Why? I guess they're going to crow that? Because why did you waste... What? What? Oh, I guess to evolve into it for Crobat VMAX? What? What? <clears throat> Let's get our eggs back and see what we can do. I mean, if we can get an energy, we can always retreat with it. And once, I mean, all they did was... Uh, see, they did what I wasn't wanting to do. Give them a chance to get two prizes. I'm not following any of this. See, that was a foolish thing to do. Like, I know you want your... Crobat VMAX to come out. But you're just going to give me the win then. <sighs> I, I... I don't get it. Because we're going to do that, and then next turn, all I need... Because I feel like maybe I should now. Like, it doesn't matter anymore. Because they can't get five prizes next turn by the time I can get... You know what I'm saying? And we're good. Do that. Send out your Crobat. I'll take my two prizes. Send out your Crobat VMAX. I still take... The win. I mean, I... Benching the multiple prizer was a huge mistake. And also, now they're out of attacker. See what I'm saying? That's why I'm glad we got the upper hand there, because you know what that's the only downside with the dragon deck. It needs to go against you know me having to put my crow and Denny out and then then bossing it out. But I'm like, I don't want to do that because that's how they're gonna, you know. I'm waiting to give them a well played. Because I don't see the point. 
I really don't see the point of them continuing. I don't see how they think they're going to get five prizes before I get my final two. You have a good deck. I don't understand the Crobat VMAX with the Reggie Drago, but props for being different, I guess? I don't know. And as I said, you have a good deck because you lost. You couldn't even knock out my Flareon. And Flareon just uses Vengeance and a bye bye I mean, I... Yeah, there's my other two Vespa Quins. <laughs> Obviously, when I know I'll hand too. Oh boy, that was a fun one. You know, <laughs> two decks, two single prize decks in a sense. I don't like the Crow V Max idea in that deck. I I did not understand that at all. That's the kind of stuff. See, that's what helped me win. That's what they were hoping for their win. But I'm not gonna go. You know, I'm gonna put those down. So they can start bossing it out and taking my prize. Oh, no, they're going to... I'm, I'm like, now I can put them down once. I'm like, yeah, they got five prizes. I got two. They'd, they'd have to boss uh, the both those out twice. Knock out my guys. And then still knock out someone else. And me not being able to get... When I have Verse Seeker, I could have just goosed my even one prize over and over. A couple times. So let's see. It's pretty fun. Hmm. I know it sounds silly, but I do have that. If it survives, I can just evolve straight into it instead of having. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, we need something. Because Verse Seeker without something doesn't mean anything. We're going to need something. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Wait, I have I have at least two Zorwork. Depending on what they're gonna have, I know they're gonna have a EX. They're gonna have a GX Pokemon. And Matt. So I can start hitting for some weakness if I have to. Nice. Let's just keep drawing some more. <coughs> we're kind of stuck. And we're there for weakness. See, now in this game, it's like, hmm, I have to play these guys out. But we're doing pretty good here, I think. We're, we're still getting a lot of draw. We're f going through the deck pretty well. We got ourselves a Zora. Finally. <laughs> Get rid of one of you. And... I feel like we're going to pretty soon not need that as much anymore. <clears throat> All right, kitty, what have you got? Oh. They evolve into a big kitty. Can transform an attack, so I guess that's what I'll do. Yeah. Got a bookend of the Denes on the bench. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Attack. Yeah. And remember, kids. I mean, I haven't done it. But just in case, remember, two... 
Phantom transform into your Pokemon before... Before... You attach your energy, because then you're going to lose it. <laughs> See, remember. Man, I'm pretty sure we're going to knock that thing out e easily. Who do I transform into, though? Obviously, it will be the one that I'm weak to. No. How fun would that be? I'm just going to count to see if I have enough. I mean, I have a lot of Pokemon in there. I should be able to knock it out. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of damage going here for, like, the rest of the thing. So, let us... Go into our, uh, Vespa Quinn, just because. We showed off, uh, Flareon a lot the last one. This one will get Bee Revenge with Vespa Quinn. She ain't afraid of no weakness. <laughs> and I'm gonna probably take a guess, and let's just see what they get. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it's well played. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, it's pretty fun and expanded. Expanded decks are fun right now. Uh, unique fun. I think it's really unique. I mean, there's a lot of variety, and it's again, it's a Swiss Army knife of Pokemon you can play, and thus making it fun. So it gets an A. Damage. Oh, we'll give it a B, B plus. Uh, it's not a high amount of damage. But you, you can still, well, in this format, there's a lot of stuff you can one-shot, but they're still going to take some two-shotting. But you're all single prize, so it kind of balances out with that. Makes sense. And for one energy, can't complain, so B+. Plus. Defense is about as average as you can get, so I'd say a B, B+, plus again. Uh, there's no healing. Uh, your main defense is the fact that you're an entirely one prize deck, and you might luck out and not... Get your single prize uh, Pokemon that's low HP knocked out. Reliability, A. A, hands down. It's consistent, and it's just it just works. It's fun. I love it. So overall, we'll give it an A. Uh, weakness, obviously, if you just have bad setting up, they get the first hand, start attacking, or they start bossing out the, your couple of two uh, prize Pokemon, and then that might screw you over. So you got to watch it with that. Otherwise... Zoroark is amazing and expanded. I love expanded. Love the deck. Zoroark is awesome. It's fun. Try it out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Much appreciated. See you next time. This has been Professor Tizzle <laughs>